Hello, this is Mark from I Am Organic Gardening, located in Zone 6B. So here I have a cell flat of 60 individual plants that I start in my basement about every three weeks. And then I transfer them out into the greenhouse here. And I transplant them into larger four-inch pots. And the only two things I use is one-year-old leaf mold and worm castings. So I do use a large amount of worm castings, which you can buy online. But I have all the ingredients here on my farm, so I'm deciding I think I'm going to make a one large worm bin this year instead of using the five gallon buckets that I've been doing and just uh, making it all in one spot and convenience. So I was thinking the other day, what if I use this old water tank that I've had sitting around on the back of my barn on top of a power rack for years and make this into one huge beautiful worm bin. So let me take the water tank off the power rack, clean it up, and let's start building a huge worm bin. So here I have the water tank all cleaned up. It's a 150 gallon water tank. I have it sitting on top of two pallets here. And I have a pallet jack off to the left hand side here that I can get underneath it and move it around. It's always going to stay in a cool spot on my barn. My barn never really gets above, let's say, 75 or 80 degrees on the hottest day because it's about uh, 20, exactly 20 feet tall and then another 10 feet to the peak. So I have good air circulation. It keeps it nice and cool in here. What's fantastic, there's a line left over on the top of the tank where they match the top to the bottom here. And on that line, you can see it right there in the middle of your screen now, I'm going to go around with a sawzall and cut it in at a 45 degree angle, a bevel, so this way the lid stays in place and then it can um, keep it there so it doesn't slide on and off. So I'll cut it with a sawzall and I'll get right back to you. Now I have the lid cut off. So this is what it looks like on the inside. The floor here is has kind of a bubble shape to it. So the water drains off to the side. Uh, it's gonna stay a little on the dirty side. I can't really clean that off. We have a lot of iron in our water and it's pretty much a stain to plastic. So at this point, I'm gonna decide, because everything is nice and flat, I'm gonna raise the back of it, which is on your right hand side here. I'm gonna raise that up about maybe an inch or so. And then all, if there's any fluid in there, will go towards the front. And there's a drain in the front, but it's not right on the floor. So I'm going to put, probably put one underneath here in the future to drain off any liquid. So before I start filling up this whole container with organic matter for the worms to start eating on it, um, there's a couple ways of trying to keep the worms inside that area. Now, I'm going to probably keep the lid off uh, more often than on because it's in the summertime right now. So what I'm going to do, around the whole edge here, I have bought an item off of Amazon, and it's this item here. It's an LED light strip. It converts your household electricity to 12 volts, so I'm not worried about getting shocked. It's only 12 volts, and that's the lights there. It's in a strip, and I believe it's 16 feet long, and that's going to go around that whole outer edge on the inside here. So I'm going to install that first before I dump some leaves in there in organic matter. Again, it's just a ribbon. I'm going to say it's about a half inch tall. It's LED lights in here, and there's a sticky tape on the back, and it is waterproof. So I have my extension cord for my power source. It goes up through here, and converts the electricity to 12 volts, and goes inside the worm bin now. Now it does come with a remote control, but first, I'm going to add the worms. It's going to be 500 of the red wigglers. I just got them in the other day and I put them in a, this plastic coffee can and just add a little water so they rehydrate again. So we have some beautiful red wigglers plus a hundred of the larger worms. These guys here. We'll get them acclimated and get some food. So we're going to give them a little bit of a treat since they had a long journey to get here and I want to get them acclimated to my worm bin. I'm going to give them the night off. So I shut the barn doors for a second here so you can see what it looks like at night time. But the remote control here has a lot of different features on it. So this is interesting, so enjoy the show.
very much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you can, please subscribe. And if you haven't done so, give it a thumbs up too. And I hope uh, the worms will be happy with their new home. And I will give them a special treat tonight too. Get them some nice green vegetation to chew on. Thanks.